Hello boys and girls, um, new coming 7th graders. Uh, my name is Miss Perez. I am one of the phys ed and health teachers that we have. There are five of us. So I'm going to give you an overview of the gym itself. You're going to see the field that's brand new. And I'm also going to show you the locker room. I will also show you the fitness room that we have upstairs. It's an extra weight room that sometimes we will use. Um, I'm also going to show you a picture of the locks that you may purchase because for downstairs in the gym, you will need to obtain your own lock in order to lock your belongings. At the beginning of class and at the end of class, you will remove everything and take all your belongings with you. So it's very important that you lock up your things because you will be responsible if you don't have your things locked up. Okay, so it's, can't wait to meet you folks and um, just here we go. So here we have the field. As you can see, it's brand new. It has a new track and new features. We have not used the field at all yet. Um, we share the field with the high school. So when we're out there, you will soon find out. Um, this is the gym area that we have. We have three courts, which we split up between all the teachers. Um, we do have health one marking period. So there's usually a teacher teaching health and the other teachers will be in the gym or on the field when possible. Um, this is where our office is, and that's our sign to stop the bullying. Just make sure we don't tolerate that. Um, also, this is where the elevator is to go upstairs, and this is the other side of the lock of the gym, and towards the girls' locker room, which we're going to show you inside. This is actually the boys' side. This is the lockers that we have. You each could have your own locker. You put in your lock. Put all your belongings in there, and at the end of class, you remove it all. That's the bathroom stalls. You also have lockers on the other side. Um, each locker room has two rooms that you could choose from. There's also an exit to the field, just in case of an emergency. Um, this is the other side of the locker room, where you will have your own space to change and get out to the, to the floor as soon as possible. This is from the top. So you see, we have dividers to divide the classes. And this is our weight room. This is also another area that we use. Also, we have our nightclub, our fitness nightclub, where they also come over here and they participate. So if you want to get in shape or stay healthy after school, this is another place that you can come to. And another area that you can use to work out. As you can see, we have different equipment that we use. And we always try to keep everything neat and maintain everything so the next person can use it. Um, here's another view of the field from upstairs our weight room. As you can see, we have a better closer view. They added a baseball park or a softball park, and we do have soccer and a bunch of activities that we do out there. We have field day and just different activities that we do. And here's another view from the top again. And these are the different locks that you could attain. You could have a combination lock or a key lock. It's up to you which one you want to. Hello, future middle school knights. My name is Mrs. Fortino. I'm one of the health and phys ed teachers at the middle school. As incoming seventh graders, I know you probably have a ton of questions and a lot of adjustments that need to be made. And one of them will be taking phys ed every single day. So as a little prelude and a little bit of practice, I'm gonna give you a warm up that we use at the middle school interchangeably throughout the year just to help you get some practice. You can do it with your friends, you can do it with your family. Really simple movements. You're gonna do five of them for 30 seconds each with a 10 second break in between. And it'll just be a good practice for you before you enter the middle school in September. The first movement is jumping jacks. So for 30 seconds, you're just gonna be doing jumping jacks. I'm sure you've done this at the elementary school level, but just to go over and review, you're making a big X and coming together to make one big I. So jumping jacks for 30 seconds, You'll rest for 10 seconds, and then your next movement are gonna be squat jacks. So feet start together, they hop out, shoulder width distance apart, squat, come back together, bring your feet back together. So squat, feet come back together, squat, feet come back together, squat, feet come back together. Make sure you keep your chest upright and knees are making a 90 degree angle. That's your second movement. You're gonna do that one for 30 seconds with a 10 second break in between. Your next movement, your third movement is gonna be a mountain climber. Down on the ground, feet come out, bring your knees into your chest, and you just keep alternating between your 
feet. Knee to chest, knee to chest, knee to chest. Again, you perform that movement for 30 seconds with a 10 second break. The fourth movement is a burpee. Standing in an upright position, you squat down, kick both feet out, bring both feet back into the chest, and then a little hop or jump at the top. You repeat that movement for 30 seconds with a 10 second break. And then your final movement is a core exercise. Feet all the way up towards the ceiling. You're gonna reach for your toes and do what we call toe touches. Lifting your shoulder blades up off the ground, reaching for those toes. Again, 30 seconds with a 10 second break in between. Let us know how you do. Hope you enjoy. Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. A, one of the five health and phys ed teachers in the West New York Middle School. Just wanna congratulate you all on making it here. Uh, I think you're gonna have an amazing time the next two years. Just wanna go over a couple things that you, knew, you all need to know um, when you go into phys ed class. Uh, when you enter the gym, you're obviously gonna have to go right into the locker rooms, take off your uniform shirt, okay? Take off your uniform pants and then change into your athletic gear, okay? And that consists of uh, sweatpants, shorts, uh, leggings, yoga pants for ladies. Just make sure they're appropriate, okay? They can't be see-through. Uh, as far as tops, make sure you wear a short sleeve t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, tank tops are not allowed, okay? Unfortunately, boys, you can't flex your muscles. Uh, so we just gotta keep those out. Um, as far as what to bring, uh, just make sure you have clothes every single day in your book bag, okay? I know it gets tough bringing it back home, bringing it back uh, to school the next day or keeping it upstairs in your locker room. So just, again, keep a, keep a spare if anything, uh, but just always have it in your bag. And then when you go into the locker rooms, you have something there. Now, they're obviously gonna stink up, okay? We're gonna work out, we're gonna exercise, we're gonna play. Make sure you wash your clothes, okay? Very important, hygiene is very important. You need to wash your clothes. Bring them back home, okay? And then bring them the next day and keep them in your bag, okay? Some of us can get away with two or three days of playing with the same clothes. I don't know which one of you are gonna do it, okay? But let's just take care of ourselves, okay? Bring deodorant, make sure it's one of the dry ones, okay? Not the sprays, we, we, we don't allow axes. Um, Girls, we shouldn't be bringing perfume, okay, before and after uh, phys ed class. We don't really need too much of that. Um, just try to keep those out of the locker room, okay? With that being said, make sure you have sneakers, okay? Sneakers with laces, very, very, very important, okay? We don't really like the Vans or the boots or anything like that. That's We cannot play with boots or anything like that. Sneakers is a must, okay, in the gym, all right? So I'm excited to meet each and every one of you. Uh, Ms. Perez and the rest of the phys ed staff have gone over the majority of the things that you all need to know. We're going to discuss this the first week of school, so uh, we all look forward to it and, and just be ready for a great two years with us. Hello, this is Ms. Perez. This is the phys ed team over here that you have. This is Mr. Vargas teaching health in the auditorium. We have health in the auditorium one marking period doing different projects and stuff. We also like to do skits, some of us teachers. We have a little sample of something that we did. We also do field day, this is us with balloons. We have music and different activities. That's Mr. A, he loves playing the music for us. This is our team. We have different activities. Hopefully we could have our school year and have so much fun as we do. And just different activities that we split you guys up into houses. And um, we just have fun that day. We have water balloons and we just have a whole lot of fun. Your teachers are very active and I like having fun. We do a lot of creative different things, even amongst ourselves, to have fun. We also like flying kites, for example. That was fun. We have basketball for our programs. We have basketball. We have volleyball. We have soccer. And we also have track and field. You need to um, get a physical for those things to participate. We have different activities that we do during the year. We also have a dance teacher. And we also incorporate dance or so get ready to dance it up. Nobody shy over here. So that's one of our classes where we're dancing it up.
We also have lunch monitors during our lunch periods to help us out with equipment and to maintain everything nice and calm. We also have different activities that your teachers like to do. School spirit is definitely one of the things we like to participate in and we encourage everybody to participate in. We also have a bunch of dances for Valentine's, for Christmas, things like that. We go on different field trips. These are some of the trips that we have been to before. We went to the Brooklyn Nets. We went to see the Devils. And uh, we also went to see the Mets. We got to go on the field. We got to go on the ice. Uh, we took the kids bowling. Um, and then, of course, your teachers, they like to get together and have fun to different activities in the building. Again, this is more school spirit. We encourage everybody to always try to enjoy themselves. Your teachers always like to be active and involved. Um, this was also during Halloween. We dressed up, just having a little fun. It's important to enjoy the, the best you can the school year, get involved, participate, this is also one of our students who created this, that portrait. And we also go to the pool line, that's Chema's. And this is the kids on our pool trip, and that's actually our principal taking a dive.